All right, it's Oscar from the Monas, and today on this horse box conversion episode, I'll be uh, undoing all the uh, bolts on the knackered tires. So there's two of them, one on this side and one on the other, and this one also needs a bit of air. Uh, then behind me, if I rotate the camera, I've got the JCB. It's a bit zoomed in. I'll just back you up a touch, and I'll be using that to lift up. The front end with the tines, and uh, I'll be putting on two new tyres which are located by the cement mixers. So if I begin with uh, just undoing them, um, I previously put WD-40 on them, so they should come off quite easily. And the reason I'm doing them on the ground is um, because obviously once I raise it, the, if I come across any really tight bolts, uh, the wheel will just spin, so uh, we don't want that happening, so I'm going to do, do it on the ground first and lift it up. As you can see, they're very, I can stick my finger in it, they're very perished, so yeah. Um, they, they are coming off quite well. We just need a bit of encouragement. And I'm using a 19mm socket. Not sure what that is in inches, but I uh, suppose you can Google it. Um, so what, what the plan for this is, obviously I'm going to work on, on this episode, I'll be working on the wheels mainly, but I'll also be dragging it down to the garage and we'll have a proper look underneath the chassis, probably by lifting up with the JCB again. And um, yeah, I'll just undo these by hand now. I'll pull them in a pot somewhere or just on the side so I don't lose them. That one needs a bit more of a twist. So if you've been following up on my uh, four Cobra uh, videos, I've actually invested on it in a new tripod. So uh, I've advanced from the uh, iPhone. <laughs> yeah, this one's coming off quite well. Um, yeah. But I put the Cobra project on hold for a minute because um, I'll probably be doing some sandblasting on the engine block and I wanted to get this down first so I can investigate the, um, like the chassis and we'll probably sandblast it so uh, I can do it all in one then. Righty-o, yeah. that one's coming off quite well. Um, right then. If I come round to the other side, I'll show you the other one which needs undoing. I might need to stop the video and um, find myself some grips, just to, because they've got plastic caps on the ends. Um, I'll just see if I can fiddle them off. Yeah, I'm going to need to find some grips for that. Um, I'll end this clip here, then I'll be back with you in a minute. Right, okay. So all, it, all you need to remove these caps is just a screwdriver. So I've already got this one off. See they come off quite easily. Um, I did try using the mole grips, or vice grips, but they just, um, they don't grip it very well. So I think the screwdriver is the best way. Uh, these are actually perished themselves, the actual caps are. So. Yeah. Uh, if you if you're old to my channel, you will have known that we've uh, well we recently hit 100 subscribers. Quite happy about that. The channel is actually going somewhere. I'm just gonna nip and get the WD-40, which is around the other side. And yeah, let's see if I can. Uh, I might need a bar for that one. Oh, never mind. Not as bad as I thought. hope everything's in frame, I'll just check. Yeah, let's just move you. 
Mm. It's, a, it's all right. I'll move you around the other side actually because you can't really see very well. Mm. <laughs> I'll just adjust the tripod. So uh, let me know if any of you are thinking about a horse box. I've had one guy, he was talking about, he wanted to make one, um, I think it was a bar, a bar one. Uh, we might put a bar in this. Well, we're probably gonna put a bar in this. Um, yeah, just let me know and I'll be happy to tell you what I've learned so far or what I'm gonna find out. I've also been looking at a, well, it's a old green trailer. I'm not sure if I buy it yet because it is very rusty. But uh, if I do, uh, we'll see if I make a series or not. I was going to turn it into a log trailer, but like I say, it is it's rusty down to a bone sort of thing. So I don't know if I want to buy it yet. Um, if anyone wants to send in any uh, ideas of what colour to paint this when it comes around to sandblasting, uh, let me know and uh, see if I, I like them or not and we'll use them. Um, it's going to be a while before we paint it though because we've got to make sure we right, find the right mixture to sandblast it because uh, this is aluminium and it's very thin so we don't want to use anything highly abrasive to, which will go straight through it. The arches are actually steel, um, well, of course they're steel, so they shouldn't be a problem. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, we'll be lifting it up and uh, investigating the chassis. Uh, oh, chassis, yep. Come on. Right. Okay. Uh, let's just plug you in. Hopefully it, it did fill up. The motor was going, so... Find the nozzle. There you are. We'll see if there's any obvious uh, holes in it. Seems promising so far. Expecting it to blow up in my face. I'm only going to put so well, I'll probably use the whole tank depending on what it needs. So 70 psi right now, and it's dropping obviously because it's running out. Seems like a decent pressure. Um, we'll probably only tow it on the back ones anyway once we replace them. This, this tire needs replacing. You can see the cracks in it. Yeah. 
I can feel it escaping on the other side. Okay, if I'm quick, I will just pull this up. Don't do that. Um, I'll gather my tools up. I can always run and get some more gas, that's not a problem, but if I just put these bolts all to one side, I'll pull them on this weight block behind us. I'll just pull this out away. Um, I'll move the tripod to the other side because I need to lift up from this corner without crashing the lights. So. Um, if I put you over here, try not to get stuck by any nettles like that, um, raise you up again. I like how I'm talking to this tripod like it's someone here. I suppose you are. Uh, so I'm rushing a bit because I don't want that air to go down. In fact, I should have got everything ready before I put the air in. But hey ho, it is what it is. Um, in fact, I'll end this clip here, just to make uh, rendering it later a lot easier. So if I end this clip, line up the JCB and uh, I'll turn it on when I start lifting it. Okay, I'll lift it now. I'll put the jack up, um, the trolley jack, just in case, you know, it'd be nice to have that extra bit of safety. Yeah, it seems to be holding for now. Uh, that's grossy. Heavier bag. Please line up. Oh, it's not, is it? Ah, oh, damn it. Wrong ones. Let me just check the other one. You should always measure what wheel it is. Um, tell you what, I'll go and put some blocks under it for now. Uh, is there any wood around? I'll go and find some wood blocks and uh, hopefully find another wheel. In fact, there might be some on that trailer back there. But yeah, uh, I'll be back shortly. Actually, I've just had another idea. If I move the back wheel onto the, well, the front wheel onto the back, then I should be able to tow it um, just with two wheels. Same goes for the other side. I think I'll do that because uh, I couldn't find any other wheels. Bit of a mistake on my behalf, but these things happen. So if I can get my tools again and take that one off and pull it straight onto that, I should be good. So uh, I'll, I'll actually do that now, and hopefully I won't break my head going under that.
Ja. Move you out the way. Oh. Wait, I'll, I'll just drop this down. Okay, time for this wheel. Before lifting out, I'll just uh, get these all loose. Getting sun uh, sunburn on at this rate. Okay, I've moved the JCB. Uh, the sun's come out, so hopefully it's not too exposed. Um, I'm gonna wait a minute. <laughs> Bloody hell, that's dodgy. Uh, I'm gonna have to be quick. Oops, this one should come off. Yeah. How am I going to do this is a question. <laughs> now, I, I want to be careful because if these tires come down, I'm going to break my leg. And uh, we don't want, want any of that. even managed to dent the arches. So the next step probably be to get more um oh I saved you better. <laughs> um, <laughs> the next step will be to uh, get some more air in the air compressor. Make sure these are brimful or as full as they'll get and uh, drag it down. So yeah see you in a minute or the next episode depending on how long it's been.